It's time to put the NFC playoff picture into focus as three spots remain in the conference. The NFC East is on pace to get three teams into the postseason while the sub-500 Buccaneers are holding on to their spot in the playoffs as the top team in the South Division. All right, three teams just sit outside the playoffs. We got the Seahawks, Lions, and Packers, all seven and eight. But which out of these three do you think is the most dangerous? You'd like to think that the Seattle Seahawks could make some noise. Obviously, Geno Smith in the running for not only comeback player of the year, but also getting some votes for MVP. But when all the dust settles, you have to take a look in the Chiefs state. Obviously, Aaron yeah. Rodgers and the Green Bay Packers. He's the X factor. Aaron Rodgers, even though he's only two games over 500 in the postseason, He's Aaron Rodgers, and I just have a whole lot more trust when it comes to Aaron than to other guys. And if you had to put a few wagers down against those other teams versus the Green Bay Packers, I think you'd feel a whole lot better if the Packers went out there and laid an egg as opposed to one of the other teams. And you said, I knew that was going to happen, and I still went in that direction. So I'm going Packers all day, Russ. Give me my guy, Man Campbell and the Detroit Tigers. Brooke Fletcher's <laughs> Detroit Tigers, and here's why. They rank fifth in the NFL this season in offense, and they've won six of their last eight games. And like we talked about in our last block, they are playing good football when it counts okay. at the right time. And I just trust what they've been able to do more than I trust what Green Bay has been able to Because Green Bay really doesn't have an identity. The Seahawks play great. They were on fire they to were. start the season, and they've kind of faded as we've come Miami towards the end of the season. Very Miami, yes. The NFC Miami. Mm -hmm. um, but to me, I just like the cut of the Lions jib right now. I mean, you know me. I'm, I'm all in with the Lions here. I've been defending them because there is something different about being the Lions this season. Being in Detroit for the last three and a half years, everybody was saying, oh, it's just the same old Lions. I finally got it because it was tough to watch them play. But now it's Dan Campbell, what he's doing there. There is something different about this team. But I do have confidence in the Packers and Aaron Rodgers. Okay. It's hard to go up against a two-time MVP like that. And that game in just a couple weeks, the Packers taking on the Lions, that is going to be a really exciting matchup and have a lot of implications there. Won't be an easy road for the Packers. Of the three, they probably have the toughest though, of anybody rest of the way. And if they make it through the way, they'll show you that they are the most battle-tested. And when they do get in the postseason, they'll let you know why they deserve to be there. And I think you're leaning towards Detroit because of your affinity for coffee. Is that what it is? Dan Campbell is <laughs> drinking <laughs> jugs of coffee by the day. I, that, that could be one reason why. I just listen. He, uh -huh. How do you not like Dan Campbell and what he's doing there? And the players, they he's created a family. The players have bought in, and you have to give a lot of credit to Dan Campbell for that. Drinking coffee, biting off kneecaps. Yeah. yeah. And drinking a lot of Red Bull. He, he likes does. Red Bull, doesn't he? Doesn't he? he should stay away from the cat. <laughs> <laughs>